I'd like to walk you through the construction of our roof system. Um, we're definitely going to have some different principles of construction versus other manufacturers. We'll touch on a couple of those things here. Really just wanted to talk about all of the different layers that make up our roof system um, and what we put together um, to create that whole shell of the coach. We uh, are definitely going to have a little bit different structure involved in what we do because what we have is a welded construction. That's throughout the entire shell of that coach. It's a welded construction. We'll use that nice thick gauge aluminum welded so that we would reduce any flex in the coach. That's going to create that superstructure working together with that substantial chassis to create the whole of the unit, making sure it's very sturdy going down the road. Um, there are other manufacturers that will use like a one-sided aluminum truss that's going to actually be riveted together. That does have the tendency to have some flex in it. Um, that's just something that we don't tend to feel is appropriate for a construction that we believe in. We like the welded structure for the longevity of the product. There are manufacturers that will actually take and use a stapled and wood truss. Um, again, water integration, you're gonna run into issues there. Um, just a little bit less of a high grade quality product to be using in a roof system for structure. I'd like to just talk about all of the different layers and how they lay up on a roof and then maybe just briefly discuss some of the um, myths or exaggerations that are out there in the industry concerning our values. I'd really like to take you through into the production facility to talk about the different methods of construction and how we build our roofs. The skeleton of our roof is comprised of a welded aluminum truss. We will attach our ceiling panels with an industrial adhesive called Sikaflex. Although it costs more than other adhesives commonly used, we use it because it's the highest performing and longest lasting bond. The welded trusses are mounted 16 on center and doubled up at the location where the AC units are mounted. We utilize our graphite closed self block foam insulation to further insulate the AC duct for maximum efficiency. The first layer of the R7 residential batting insulation is placed in between each of the trusses. The insulated ducting that delivers the air conditioning is placed above this and it is connected to the vents. Here it is folded back to allow for the attachment of the backer that lines the roof's edge and prep the three inch lag bolts that will be tying together the superstructure of our Lux fifth wheels. Tidy color coded wiring is run in between the two layers to eliminate any voids in insulation. The roof is then placed on top of our three inch thick welded and laminated wall that sits on top of the welded floor. All of these components are designed to work together in conjunction with the steel frame of the chassis. Using a welded structure eliminates the issue of frame flex and ensures all of the cabinets and appliances are taking less wear and tear from road travel. We add an additional layer of R7 batting, tucking it in between the trusses to fill any voids. This is a time-consuming process that we can accomplish with our pace of manufacturing. Mass-produced 10 plus a day plants will not have the time to execute this level of detail and care. The final layer inside the roof is an insulated radiant barrier called astrofoil. This will act as a shield against the heat of the sun and it has further insulation value when coupled with the dead air space, which we will have in between this layer and the marine grade plywood. The bubble layer works as a thermal barrier against conductive heat transfer. I wanted to give you a little closer physical example of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a radiant barrier and astrofoil. So this is the product that we use. It is an astrofoil and it is a bubble insulation. So it's got an insulating layer in between the two layers um, of radiant barrier. It's also got a plastic coating on it that's gonna help to protect that against any oxidation. 
This is the physical radiant barrier um, that other manufacturers will use. One thing about this is it doesn't have that extra protective layer. It can and will over time oxidize and that's going to cut down on its reflectivity. So that's going to reduce the functionality of this physical product. Um, so other manufacturers, if you took all of the different layers and what they use and the R value of what their insulation uh, batting is, if you were to take that and deduct what they claim this material is, they're claiming that this is an R29. Uh, the manufacturer of this type of material actually would say that it doesn't have any R value. You gain that R value utilizing a negative airspace next to a reflective material. That is how it works. Examining the truss heights in the roof, it is clear that there isn't sufficient dead airspace to justify the R values claimed by some industry figures. It is advisable to check the R value attributed to each layer according to manufacturer claims. A radiant barrier without an insulated bubble layer does not possess an R value. inch marine grade plywood decking is sequiflexed and screwed into each truss. This is an extremely strong roof combined with our laminated walls, floor, and substantial frame. Our fifth wheels are built to last. A seamless TPO membrane is the last layer. It is adhered to the plywood and they smooth it out to eliminate any bubbles. This material carries a lifetime warranty. An aluminum channel is attached to that roof transition and a self-leveling sealant is placed over any seams. Gutters and downspouts are then placed between the aluminum and the sidewall for water runoff. This aluminum will be painted to extend the color of your choice above the roof line. At Lux, we build for decades of enjoyment with our unparalleled attention to detail from the foundation to the final layer we create luxury fifth wheels that stand tall and proud, ready for the true adventures that wait you. Lux Fifth Wheels, where luxury meets longevity.